Redness props do the same kind of checks as the liveness props, such as HTTP gate, TCP connections, and the command executions. But the purpose is different. As soon as the pod is up, it doesn't mean that application inside the pod is ready to accept the incoming traffic. If you have a Tomcat server running inside a pod, it may take a few seconds to start the server and then boot up the application. So in such scenarios, Redness probe isolates the container from its incoming traffic until the Redness probe health check is passed. If you look at this example, in the same way like the Liveness probe, you can define the Redness props for the container using the Redness probe section under the containers. Under that, you can have the HTTP health checks using HTTP get section or else you can use TCP socket or EXEC options as well. And after defining the redness probe, what will happen when the redness probe is not passed? Your pod will not mark as ready until the redness probe is passed. So when you have the services configured on top of these pods, services will not route the traffic into the pods until the application running inside the pod is ready. For the liveness probe and redness probe, there are few more additional configurations that you can pass to make it more tuned into the application's behavior. Initial delay seconds field tells the kubelet that it should wait 10 seconds before performing the first health check or the health probe and the default value for this initial delay seconds is zero seconds. Then the period seconds field specifies how often to perform the probe in seconds. In this example, kubelet should perform the redness probe every five seconds. When the probe fails, Kubernetes will try to fail threshold times before giving up. Giving up in case of liveness probe means restarting the container. In case of redness probe, the pod will be marked as unready. Default value for failure threshold is three, minimum value is one. Success threshold configuration is the minimum consecutive successes for the probe to consider successfully after having failure. Default value must be one for liveness and startup probes and the minimum value is also one. Timeout seconds is another configuration to define number of seconds after which the probe times out. 